Welcome to Kids Hit Inside. Today, me and my friend will be fi- finding difficulty chart marker, which is actually the hardest or one of the hardest markers in the whole entire game. So today, me and my friend will be showing you how to get the t- the difficulty chart marker. And sorry if I haven't been posting in a while, is because I was. Oh, I was pretty busy, so, t- and now I'm I'm back, so we're going to start making some videos, and today we're going to start off with getting difficulty chart marker, and so if you follow what we do, you will get it in no time, so first you will go, t- so once you spawn in, you want to follow where I go. So you want to go over to this area over here, like this like mountain area from this one, as you can see it's over there. You want to climb up this ladder, and then you should come in here. Once you're in here, you want to go all the way down into this area, and then you should be over here. What you want to type is difficulty in this area, difficulty, and once you do that, or I accidentally spelled or I accidentally forgot the T. So once you spell it, three, two, one, enter. So once we do it, as you can, you will see this and you should end up over here. And then you have to do this obby. And in that purple box all the way up there is where we will get the marker. But that is far from here. So I will be showing you how to get that. And also, there are di- different markers in this area, so you can get those later. So first, let's start off with easy. This one's pretty easy. You just have to do that, that, and this. So pretend, like, right here, I, like, fall, because if you're not careful, you can fall over here. Like that, you saw I fall. Um, You'll spawn over here, and there's no checkpoints at medium, but... Once you get to the harder stages, like red, that's when you will get checkpoints. And I'll tell you when, like, where it is. Because at the harder ones, the checkpoints are invisible. So once you're over here, once you complete medium, there is no... There. There is no um checkpoint there because it's still the easy one. So once you're at hard, you need to do this. Um, that... And then this is where it can get a little hard if you're not careful. But all you have to do is perfect timing and jump. And then this part is pretty easy. You just need to do some wall hops. It would be best to shift lock. And then you have to go through this. And then this is when the first checkpoint comes in. And now you can, and if you think well, there's no checkpoint here. Well, there actually is, but it's just invisible. So as you can see, like we're over here. And... Let's do this. So this one can be a little hard if you're like, if you don't like, see, look, it, this can be a little hard as like that because it slides you because it's ice. And so what the recommend thing that I like do at this part is like once you come here, once every, when you move, you like move. So what I do is jump a couple of times and then jump over to the next one. So, like this. So, what I do is jump a little bit like that. Move. Jump a little bit. Move. Jump a little little bit. Move. And then you just repeat this until you get to the end. So, once you complete this. So, if you're not careful, like how I'm doing it, like, because I'm doing it pretty fast. um, You can just start slow. But... At first, just start slow because if you like try to rush it on your first time, then you then it'll be like a long time. And then once you do that, you'll get this one. If you haven't done this in like some hobbies, but most of you probably have, all you have to do is turn on your shift lock and then jump on this ladder. Once you're on this ladder, um, as you can see my like moving button, it goes up in a little bit to the left at the same time. And then you'll just start moving like this. And then once you're at the end, you just jump. And then you walk across this, make sure not to fall off. And then you completed it. 
and then there's a uh, checkpoint right here as you can see when i fall off i spawn right here so there's a checkpoint and then this is when it starts to get a little hard so once you do is like when you're right here do you want to turn on your shift lock when you jump turn it off and then once you're, you want to put your screen like this jump toward it and turn on your shift lock at the same time and then you just have to repeat this so it may sound a little confusing but once you like keep trying it you will get used to it and once you're right here you just want to jump but you can move back while you jump if you want to but there's just a more chance of you falling off like down there and then once you do that you want to walk over here and do this and then yeah you finish that part you're insane as you can see um it starts to get a little harder that these like jumps are a little bit thicker all right and this is like you can get hurt so there's three ways that you can do this one you can do it like this and like jump over that laser you can do that or you can just do it like normally oh or you can do it normally without shift lock and just jumping over that but the easiest way would be in first person and jumping over it but any of those are fine but the first person mode or the shift lock mode would be the easiest out of all of them so once you want to do that oh that and also it can you can follow a little bit on that part is because since the like since the path is so thin you can f like your out your character can glitch on there and you can just like end up like dying to the laser like falling off so that's why you gotta like jump at the right timing and not jump too early or not jump too late but so you can do it either way there's like some other ways that you can do it but those are like the best ways to do it and once you do that this is right here this is the maze and you can get lost in this maze so just make sure to follow me so you need to jump in here follow me you need to like go over here to that last corner and then once you're over here you want to come up go in this like area right here and once you're in this area this is when it gets like pretty dark so this is where you would like most likely get lost so also if you like don't know what's happening you can always like turn on your shift lock and look like on the wall to see like where you are and once you do that follow us this is where you need to be really careful because also how you know it's an exit because look you can compare this is light this is dark but also this is where you need to be really careful because if because as you can see that white part is lava so you need to be really careful so don't just sprint out of there so you need to be careful getting out of there like that and then you finish that maze that's probably one of the hardest parts of this stage so once you do that you need to come over here and then this is where it's best to shift walk you need to go over there through it. also jumping through it is easy like jumping through it like that oops yeah so you can do jumping through it or just like um or just or just you can use that shift lock and did do what i do but it's but you can do either one of them so once so of course like uh, another frustrating part is like once you die you have to start all the way over so you need to be careful so you probably might die on this so just remember that maze because if you keep doing it you'll eventually remember it. so once you're right there you can do that but i think it's easier just doing shift walk like that but you just have to be careful this one is um wide so you can just walk through it normal and then once you're right here you want to jump over there and then you finished insane and then this is where it starts getting hard and also this is where a checkpoint as you can see when i fall i just spawn right there so there is a cheat that i use for this one this only this one part is instead of jumping right here and then over there what i do is i go right here 
go at the edge kind of and then jump over there and also don't go all the way up here and jump because there is lava up there so you it can kill you so stay at the bottom like where i am and then jump on the other side and then once you're here you want to stay on the bottom again and jump on this ladder all right and this is where you like you need to do it or else you won't fall and break this part so uh, here you just want to push the jump button nothing else all you want to do is push the jump button because if you if you like move your character a tiny bit you will fall off this platform so just jump your character and then you will just be like where i am and then this is like where you can skip part is you need to be careful get on there and then you can get on that next piece but there's a more chance of you falling but you can just skip that and get over there um but you also need to get far enough to make that jump because if you're like too far and like close to the platform you will not make it so once you get on here you can just jump like that and then this part is like where you have to be careful because if you touch this blue you're automatically dead so terrifying is like there's a lot of lava and if you like and the most part about terrifying is like if you jump to like go up too much or not careful you are like this stage is mo more of like you getting hit by lava if you're not careful or you don't like see things so if you can't do this like if you think it's like really hard for you to do this by yourself or somebody or like really hard for you um you can always try again because it's not like you can only do this one time and then this once you complete that part this is just like red except the blue thing is lava it's not a wall so you just do the same thing like this and then you want to come up here and jump up on this ladder but this part is where you need to be careful because don't go up too high because then you'll die from that lava so go up to the height where i kind of am and look behind you like um this where i how i am and then jump and move back a little bit i accidentally didn't do it correctly but once you're at like that height or area where i was on that ladder you just want to jump look behind you um uh jump and move your character back a little bit and then you did that part but since i keep dying on this part i'll meet you guys at that one part all right so i made it to that part go to this height like look like this and then jump and move back and then you'll land here so what you want to do is like jump over here move back and not touch that lava and then you need to jump over that lava oh uh, okay so you just need to jump over that lava and then you kind of you actually finish terrifying and then you're on the and then you go to the last um part which is the hardest part and maybe and if it's your first time doing this obby um and, and if it's your first time doing this obby you, you might get a little bit frustrated but if you just keep trying you'll eventually get it you'll eventually get it so don't give up and keep trying because if you like keep trying um you will get the marker so also once you do this after you, if you like die along the same part and you think the parts before it were pretty hard and you like keep dying and you have to do that part re over um you'll eventually get used to it and you will just do these parts very fast like this part where i'm on right now if you keep dying like up here um you will get used to it because and you'll just finish that part quickly so once you're here you want to move back and then you want to do this move over here and then don't die here and jump over there and then how did i die and then as you can see like where i died there was like a thin ladder if you guys saw that 
there was a thin ladder, and when, you just needed to climb up that ladder, and then you were at the last part. But since that ladder is, like, really thin, and it's kind of easy to fall off and glitch, um, you, and it's kind of easy to fall off and glitch on that ladder up there, you just have to be careful and walk slowly, or else when you fall off, you have to do this all over again. So don't, so, and nobody wants that to happen. So, yeah, that's why, um, you need to be careful on some parts, because if you're not careful on, like, some parts, you will, maybe, you will most likely fall or die, so be careful on, like, some parts that are, like, hard for you, and the number one thing on, like, the hard ones, like, the hard levels, like, this one, insane, and the last one, last part, is to not rush, because, like, if you rush, you'll just keep dying and, like, not get it, because you're, like, trying to rush through it and, like, not taking your time to get it, so you would, like, fall a lot, and, yeah, so don't rush through it, because, you will end up falling and stuff, and, like, you will eventually, if you rush, you will just, like, eventually believe that you it, you can't do it. But also, if you are, like, not rushing and trying your, like, very hard, and you still don't think it's possible for you to do it, um, just, like, maybe call, like, a friend or, like, ask a, somebody or a friend to, like, help you, and they might show you, like, more tips and tricks than, like, how I am, like, right now, so if you can't do this by yourself, maybe you can, like, ask somebody, because maybe they'll give, like, more tips and stuff, and, like, how to complete this obby more than me, but what I feel like people struggle the most on when I usually like do this I'll be for fun and practice is there most people are sh- stuck on like terrifying because terrifying is like when it starts to get pretty real like really hard for most people so that's why I usually see like a good bit and a lot of people stuck on terrifying so if you see a lot of people don't think in yourself that like since they can't do it you can't do it because then you won't do it so as you can see that long ladder it it, it is actually easy to fall off of and for some reason where i just died again be careful at that part because um, at, like, where you, like, stay a little bit, there's actually, like, a small piece of lava where your character can touch, so, and then you'll just die and start over again. So, make sure, don't, also, um, believe, like, you can do it, but also don't get too confident that you can get this marker, because you, if you're too confident you might um, end up not getting the marker and be, like, really sad. So once you're, like, where I am, um, you want to slowly get up this ladder. I, pers- I personally, like, jump up here, but don't do it so fast because you'll end up dying. But, yes, we're on markers. This is the hardest and last. So this is the hardest one. And then this is where the checkpoint is. As you can see, my friend said it. And also, this is the last stage. And as you know, this is where the checkpoint is. I, I die. I spawn here. And in that box over there is where we will get the marker. So, this p- first part is pretty easy. Easier than terrifying. And then you just have to do that. And then this is like when it starts to get a little hard. Um, You don't have to jump. So, you like, stand like right here. And then you want to move. And then you will just eventually, like, get like this. And then once you're, like, right here, 
you don't have to jump in between those because they'll just be way too hard. You just need to jump over that. And then don't go too far up because that's lava thing. So you want to come like right here and then like twist and jump like that. Like how my friend did. And then that part is probably one of the hardest parts on um, at Markerus. So, make sh so that part can be a little hard for you. Oh, and so once you're like, I will give you a tip at this part. All you need to do is like stand like where I am. And then all you need to do is walk forward. And then you'll like end up being like this. And then you just have to jump over those lasers like one tap. Like, one jump. And then you need to... This part is, like, when it gets hard. Because, well, the hardest part of this, um, like, stage area. Because, um, you, you have to, like, get, like, the perfect area. Or else you'll just, like, slide off that piece. Or you won't, like, make it. So, it, so like, you need to stand around here. Turn on your shift lock and jump. Or, like, stand a little lower where I was. Turn on your shift lock. And then, like... So, the wall hops, you just basically do that. But lower, like, right here. You just need to do, like, a wall hop, kind of. And jump on that other side. And then, you'll make it... You have to make it on that thin piece. So... So, you just need to go over here. And be careful because if you're not careful on this stage, you will, like, end up, maybe, you might end up touching lava. Because there, you can, there are actually many ways that you can mess up on this area. So, just be careful. And I f um, if you, like, get to markers... And, like, once you reach Markers, you feel like, like, you feel like you can't take it anymore because, like, it's been, like, a long time and, it, you like, you, ha you were stressing so much about, like, the terrifying part where a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people struggle on, um, and you feel like you, like, you have zero percent of, like, chance doing this. Um, just keep trying, and then maybe, maybe you'll eventually you'll get the marker. So like once you're like about that area, um, but also that part is harder to stick onto because you that part over there, um, your character likes to like your character slides off of it easily, so like your character slides off of it, so you might die. So, at that part, there are actually some easy ways that I would tell you, or the easiest ways to make that part that I'll show you. So, once you, like, keep doing this part where I'm right now, you just, um, have to walk, that, you will eventually, like, get used to that. As you can see, that part is actually kind of hard because you're, once you, like, get on that, like, hill thing, or that piece that goes a little bit up, your character would just slide into that, like, lava part down there, so. And also, that part, do not jump. Just walk, because if you jump, you'll just end up hitting that pink lava above it. So just walk, and don't jump, because you'll just hit that lava. So once you're, like, over here, you want to jump and, like, go to that piece. Also, don't go, like, that reason why that part is actually hard is because also when you jump, you have to be not too low and not too high because if you're too low, you will fall off. But if you're too high, you will hit that, like, neon ball up there. So, you it can be a little hard. But also, a hard part is, like, once you, like, do that part, like, turn on your shift lock, your character, like, automatically slides off that pole. So, once you're there, you want to, like, come over here. And then th it would just be best if you're off shift lock and then want to move, like, over there. 
So you want to move over here. Like this. And then you'll make it. And then this where you want to turn on your shift lock. And move over there at like the same time. So once you do that. You'll need to just keep trying that part. And then you'll eventually get it. I'll be back when I get that part. All right, now that we got to this area, these are one stud jumps, so you have to be like really careful on these parts. But I'll give you an easy way to do this, like really easy. So what you want to do is like come right here. And all you want to do is jump to the first one. So as you can see, I fell. It might take you a couple tries to do that. But once you do that first one, you'll be like, you just have to do the first one. How come there's like a second one? Well, at that second one, all you have to do is skip that one part. Like you can, since the gap isn't too big, you can just like skip jumping that one part. So you'll just automatically go to that latter part. So you'll get used to like the, these hard parts like this one. But, oh, since you're close to it, just don't give up because you're, like, really close to the end. But if you guys are, like, wondering where my friend went beca um, because he was earlier, while I was trying to get to this part, he said he had to go. So, it's just going to be me. So, we're going to be doing this. Yeah. Um, Hope and hopefully we can get to this so I can show you mm, because we are almost there. We are so close to getting the marker. So we need to come right here. Yeah, so probably out of all of the parts, that part is the hardest because you like slide off. So as you can see in that box, there actually is one more part we have to do in that box but they're just like very simple lava jumps it's not that hard and then you got the, get the marker and so that's why probably this latter part right here is the hardest one because you slide off when you get to this one part right here so that's why you want to like not go too high or too low because if you go too high, you'll just, like, slide off. But if you go too low, you'll touch the lava. Also, be careful on this, like, dim part right here because if you're not careful, you can just, like, fall right through it. And, like, the, so the thing about, like, these thin parts about the, like, whole obby, not only this part, is that there's a lot of thin parts and, like, you can glitch through those thin parts. And just die so that's why it's kind of hard and as you can see I made that jump now we just have to like come over here and make that one step jump and then we can skip that other one step jump so you want to like make that yes and then we can skip that one and jump on this ladder and then we're all so close and then there's this little one thing so don't go too much and then you want to turn and do this. All right. And then we are so close. And then we end up being right here. And we, as you can see, we can see the marker. And be careful here because you could fall off. So you just want to make that jump. That one. And then jump over here. And yes, we got the marker. This is one of the hardest markers. Or actually the hardest marker in the whole game. And... This video might help you get the hardest marker in the game. And as you can see, we went from all the way down to that green and did all of that. And now we finally got the hardest marker. As you can see at the bottom, it says difficulty chart marker. So, yeah, it is a, like a lot kind of, but if you keep dying on the same parts, you'll get used to it and just do it like really fast. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel. I hope you like it. Let us know how long this took you to get this marker. 
And then if this video helped you. Bye!